friends, welcome to Lisa's Book Nook. I'm Lisa and I'm so excited to be reading to you tonight. So get your favorite stuffed animal or doll. And tonight I'm going to have my Raggedy Ann and my Andy. These right here are vintage um, or they might be antique. I don't remember exactly how old they are but this is my little adorable Raggedy Ann. And this is my adorable Andy doll. And I'm gonna have these two. I'm going to put them to the side so that they can listen to story time with me. Now you go ahead and get your favorite stuffed animal or doll. Climb into bed. Fluff your pillow. Pull your covers up, wiggle your body in nice and comfy. Now let's take a moment to relax our body in preparation for story time. Let's close our eyes and take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. One more time in through our nose and out through our mouth. There we go. Now let's travel into the faraway land of make-believe. And tonight's book is, let me try to straighten it a bit, The Box Turtle by Vanessa Rodier. So what attracted me to this book was I just liked the cover. I liked the fact that it was sweet, it was simple, it was to the point. Um, there wasn't a lot going on. I did love the colors. I love to look at the colors and I love to look at what I call uh, visual textures um, on the book and on the front cover and everything on this uh, book is just smooth visually because when I say visual textures or the, the texture of the colors, texture itself is something we touch, but you know, you can't really touch a color, but I like to look at it visually and sort of think to myself, wow, um, whether the, the book has a lot of complicated uh, colors and how the patterns sort of fit in but this one was nice and it was simple and it was to the point and I was just digging it <laughs> so um, also you know the title you see this cute little turtle and we can see he is in his box and we see his friend the hermit crab and I have a very quick, funny story about a hermit crab. So Miss Lisa does not live too far away from the beach. I live um, about an hour from beautiful Galveston Beach, Texas. So my kids and I go there a couple times a year. And last year, it was actually right about this time because my kids are on their second winter break. The school they go to gives them two winter breaks, the normal one that goes with Christmas and uh, the first week of February. So they went on their winter break and I was sitting on, on the side in my beach chair and the kids were playing in the water, just walking around because it is very cold this time of year. And my daughter brings this beautiful shell to me. I'm holding this shell in my hand and I start to feel something. I open my hand and there's a hermit crab <laughs> inside of the shell. So I thought, oh no. And I put the shell back down um, onto the shoreline where she found it and the hermit crab scurried away. So he lived to see another day. And we learned a very important lesson that day. And that was to check our shells before we um, try to bring them home because the poor crab would have really missed the beach and Miss Lisa would have had to drive all the way back to the beach to take him back home. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start the story. The Box Turtle. I've got some nice illustrations in here. 
hopefully I've got this. <clears throat> lined up enough. The box turtle. When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something missing. Oh me, oh my, he's missing his shell. But they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell, both of which fit just right. Now remember, Terrence, you are so much more than just a shell. So they figured he was missing his shell and they're gonna give him a shell that fits him. And they gave him a box and they told him that you are much more than just your shell. Terrence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest days. Safe from the snoopiest strangers, and on the scariest nights. Hoo, hoo. So his shell, the box that his parents gave him, it worked very well for him. It kept him nice and dry. It kept him safe from strangers and it kept him nice and safe on nights where he felt a little insecure and scared. It was big enough to share. Terrence loved his shell. So he's sharing his shell with his hermit crab friend and he loved it until one day, your shell is weird. Uh-oh, here we go. Here comes the bullies and they're telling him that his shell is weird. And look at that evil little bully face. They're just being mean for absolutely no reason. Suddenly, Terence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for the little box turtle to bear. He's really embarrassed. They really hurt his feelings. So he abandoned it to search for something better. He left that shell and he decided, you know what, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna search for something better. Terrence searched high and low until, wow wee, his new shell looked sleek. There's his new shell. It's a mailbox. And it looks like it was a broken mailbox that was in the trash because you know, the, the post for the mailbox goes here and then normally a mailbox would be um, in the ground. And he took that broken, discarded mailbox and put it on his back. And here is the picture of him searching all over his town, looking for a new shell, looking high and low. Eek! But it showed too much cheek. So his shell keeps on getting opened. The mailbox is trying, I mean, the mailman is trying to put in mail into the mailbox and it shows too much because it keeps on getting opened. The search continued. Ooh la la. He looked classy. He looked sassy. He looked just like, he's got his new classy, sassy shell. Let's see who he looks just like. Grandma Mildred. <laughs> he's got a shell with the same exact pattern as her grandma Mildred. He looked for another shell. He did not like that. So he said, I need another shell. Oh yeah, he found another shell. He found it, a perfect polka dotty package. So he's found another shell to put on him, but it has this little lever. Do we know what that little lever is for? I might have an idea. Pop! That was positively petrifying. Whoa! It was a jack-in-the-box. Have you guys ever seen a jack-in-the-box, boys and girls? You crank the lever, you turn it, and crank means you turn, and the jack-in-the-box sort of makes a little tune 
Normally it goes something like pop and then the jack will come out. So they were positively petrified. I don't see Jack in the Boxes that much anymore. Those were good, wholesome toys. Terrence tried Shell, boom, 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 after Shell. Hey, eee, after Shell, after Shell, but nothing fit. So on this page, we see Terrence is still looking for a shell. He's looking all over the place. He tried a boom box. He tried this little girl's lunch box. She's running after her apple and her sandwich and her milk has fallen out. He tried to get a garden bed and the garden bed is filled with beautiful flowers and the bees want those flowers. So they're buzzing around him. And he also tried a pirate chess, but these two kids are playing pretend and they're running after him because they want their chest back. This whole situation stunk kitty litter a lot. So now he's got the cat's litter box on his back and the cat is there taking a potty. That's it. I give up. Here you go. Oh, that's really sweet. So he's very frustrated at this point. He's frustrated, he gives up, and his friend, the hermit crab, is saying, here you go, take my shell. Oh, wow. In that moment, the hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. So in that moment where the hermit crab gave Terrence his shell, he showed him what it is to be a really good friend. The little crustacean was so much more than just a shell, and maybe Terrence was too. Terrence knew what he needed. There he is, he's going off. I wonder what Terrence needs. But when he found his old shell, oh no, it had changed. Remember when he tossed his shell in the beginning and the raccoon took it? So now his shell is all battered and old. It's okay, we can fix it. So they have some bandages. They're gonna fix his old shell. Let's see what they do to it. Terrence patched on soggy days. He toiled on chilly nights. The task grew big enough to share. He's going ahead, he's working on it. Finally, the shell was finished. I actually like that. I like that a lot. I like how creative he was with his new shell. I like the colors, I like the stripes, and hmm, do you spot someone else who has a new shell? Yes, the hermit crab. He has come out of his shell and he's using the bandage box. That's too cute. It wasn't sleek or sassy. It was far from perfect and definitely weird. There goes those bully kids again, calling him weird. Let's see what's gonna happen. But Terrence wasn't dismayed because this little box turtle, so meaning when they say dismayed, like he wasn't upset, he wasn't bothered by that because this little box turtle was so much more than just his shell, the end. And they've got that beautiful heart. That was really cute. I like that, I like that a lot actually. 
and I really liked how his shell turned out in the end. I loved how creative he was with his shell. So let's go ahead and let's do our breathing exercises and relax our body in preparation for bed. And if you're not going to bed right now, then let's just go ahead, take a moment to relax our body and reset it and get ready for whatever activity you have next. Let's go ahead and sing my favorite song for this age group, which is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. One, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's get ready for our breathing exercise so we can relax our body. Let's go ahead and take a deep relaxing breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. Again, deep relaxing breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck, relax your legs. And one more time, a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. Thank you so much for reading with me today and thank you for allowing me to read to you tonight and i'll talk to you later bye